Hi, I Kamlesh Gurvakshani welcome you to this video on how to arrive at your money needs using TVM calculator. Friends, this is my fourth video on my playlist of my playlist why LIC advisor must work full time. This playlist has been created to help you take the informed decision that why you must work full time. During the earlier videos, you have learned why you must work full time, the four steps selling process, the market potential with detailed information about the market potential is given that helps you to take the informed decision about working full time and why MDRT should be MBG. Friends, one MDRT gives you an income of about 50,000 per month. And if you are working full time, then this is the minimum income that you must aspire for. So always focus on your income goals and use the MDRT as a milestone to achieve your goals. In this video, hence you will learn how to arrive at your money needs to fulfill your responsibilities using the TVM calculator. And friends, if you are not yet earlier viewed my three videos, go to my YouTube channel Kamlesh Guru or you can directly assess these videos on this link kguru.in slash full time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will get the information about my upcoming videos. Now coming to this video, your responsibilities. Your responsibilities towards your families are to create fund for the higher education of your children, for your children marriage provision or start in life provision, to create fund for your retirement income, to create fund for down payment to buy your house or car or to create fund for your emergency needs. You will also come to know to create above funds how much money you need to invest today in order to create the funds as per the required interval, as per the required date. And once you arrive at your money needs, then you can set your income goals for the year. Because you have to add your general day-to-day -day expenses and other business expenses to it. So view this video from your laptop with your headphones. Keep the notepad and calculator ready with you and start calculating your income needs, money needs simultaneously as you view this video. So once you arrive at your income needs, at your general day-to-day -day expenses and other business expenses to set your income goals for the year. How to set your goals for income goals for the year that I have ex explained in details under my course on advisor success system. This advisor success system course has been designed specifically to help you develop the systems and habits required to achieve the lifetime success. So check the video on objective and contents and how to enroll under this course on this link kguru.in slash success and enroll under this course. I promise you that you will get the best value of your time and money that you will spend on this course. So let us begin the video on how to arrive at your money needs using the TVM calculator and watch out for my next video on the common denominator of success. In fact, this video itself is from my course advisor success system. So download the app using the link kguru.in slash tvm and start watching this video. Welcome to the first module that is first lecture of the second module of goal setting of advisor success system. In this module you will learn the time value of money calculations that is the future value calculations and the present value calculations using the TVM app. So let us begin. In this you will learn two types of calculations 
Number one is compound interest. Compound interest back means what is the future value of the single payment, a lump sum amount. If you are investing a lump sum amount, say in fixed deposit, so after five years, ten years, what will be the total value? What is the maturity value of that fixed deposit, considering the certain rate of interest? So this is compound interest is mainly for the single premium, and second one is future value of annuity. That is what will be the future value, the maturity value of the periodical payments, just like a recurring deposit. Every year you are depositing certain amount, same amount you are investing every year. So what will be is value of that amount invested after the period, whatever period you have selected, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years at the certain rate of interest. So we will see how to go about it. First we see the compound rate, compound interest that is future value of the single investment. In this TVI map, you will have four other options that is present value, how much money you want to invest that is mentioned as PV, time period, number of years you want to invest, interest rate, what is the expected rate of return, what is the future value that is after the desired period where the number of years you are investing after that end of the period at the expected rate of interest what will be the future amount. Now we see in the app how exactly it works. So this is the TVA map you have to select. You have to select compound interest and here there are four options you want which you want solution for. You want solution for future value, you want solution for present value, you want solution for rate of interest or you want solution for time. Now we are looking at solution for the future value because what will be the future value if you are investing certain amount at fixed rate of interest. Now consider future value. Now present value if you are say investing 1 lakh rupees as a single investment. Assuming the rate of interest 6% rate of interest you are getting and time period is say about 10 years is your time period. Compounding is yearly, yearly interest rates compounds at yearly rate. The future value of your investment will be 1,79,084. That is if you are investing 1, 1 lakh rupees, giving 6% rate of interest, the value will be after 10 years will be 1,79,084. This is how we calculate the future value. Now we see how we can use this future value calculation which you just saw to arrive at the amount required to fulfill our future liabilities. That our future liabilities are children education, marriage provision, start in life, corpus for retirement income, corpus for down payment to buy a house or loan and corpus for the emergency fund. Now here the rate of interest we consider it as a rate of inflation. If there are your current expenses for say your children education is 1 lakh rupees and rate of inflation is 6% that is the cost of education goes every year by 6% more. So that 6% inflation is equivalent to rate of interest. If we use the same formula then we can arrive at what much, how much money you will need to for your children education. Just let us see this example. For marriage provision of your children, suppose your current age of your child is 5 years and expected marriage age is 25 years and current marriage expenses we assume at rupees 5 lakh rupees. Now average rate of inflation over the next 20 years is 5%. We are assuming that the expenses towards the marriage of our children increases by 5% every year. So calculate the amount required for the marriage if marriage has to take place at the age 25. Now look at the solution, how we can arrive at the amount. You have to select the compound interest in the TVM calculation and you have to select solve for the 
future value. The present value is the current marriage expenses that is 5 lakhs rupees. Interest rate is the average inflation that is 5% and time period in years that is duration for the marriage is we are assuming at 25 current age is 5 years. So the time period will be 20 years and compounding period we have to select yearly. If you calculate the total value will come to 13,26,648. If you want to see we can see it in, in app as well. So in the app you have to select compound interest first and you have to solve for future value. So you have to solve for future value over here. Present value is the present value required for the marriage provision of the child. We are assuming at say 5 lakhs rupees now we are calculated. Annual interest rate is the rate of inflation we expect. We are assuming 5% inflation rate and time period we have chosen is 20 years. So after 20 years what will be the value of 5 lakhs rupees required for marriage provision today? If you are compound, if inflation rate is 5% over the period of 20 years, compounding we select yearly and calculate it comes to future value comes to 13,26,648. This is how you have to calculate this marriage provision. Now once you arrive at the marriage provision required, let us see one more example. Then we will see how to arrive at amount to be invested. Say retirement income required, for example, current age is your 30 years, your retirement age is 55 years. The current expenses required, if you are required at retiring today, assume that you retire today. So what is the income you will be comfortable with? So assuming that it will be 10,000 rupees per month. Now considering the inflation, over the period of 25 years. Retirement age is 55. So you have 25 years left for your retirement. So considering 5% inflation every year over the period of five, 25 years, now you have to calculate the amount required for monthly expenses at your age 55. Again, you have to select same compound interest option. Then solve for future value. Present current monthly expenses 10,000 rupees. Average interest rate, that is inflation rate 5%, duration of retirement 25 years, compounding yearly, so amount required will be 33,863. That means if you require 10,000 rupees now, then at 5% inflation you will require about 34,000 rupees at your age 55. So you have to plan accordingly to create so much corpus that it will give you at least 34,000 rupees per month from your age 55. This is how you will arrive at the amount to be invested. Now to arrive at how much amount you have to invest to create that corpus of say for marriage provision 13 lakhs or 14 lakhs, how much in amount you require so that you will be able to fulfill your all your obligations. That is you have to calculate separately for children education, for marriage provision, for retirement and for emergency funds. Now let us assume one example. You need 10 lakhs rupees after 15 years for children education or marriage purpose. Now how much single investment you require if rate of interest is 6%. For that again you have to select the compound interest because we are calculating the single investment to calculate compound interest then now you have to solve for present value future value you already know future value you need 10 lakhs rupees now to create 10 lakhs rupees how much single investment you make now so that at 6% interest it will become 10 lakhs rupees so under future value you add write 10 lakhs rupees rate of interest 6% time period 15 years compounding yearly and so calculate the answer will be 4,17,265. We want to see in the app how it works. Let us see in the app as well.
Now here again you have to select compound interest only. Now solve for you have to calculate instead of future value you have to select here present value. The future value we know it is 10 lakhs rupees. Interest rate we assumed 6 years. Time period 15 years compounding yearly. The amount to be invested is 4,17,265. That is, if you invest 4,17,265 now at 6% interest, then it will become 10 lakhs at the end of the 15 years. That means you will be able to achieve your target of 15 lakh, 10 lakhs rupees at the end of 15 years. Now, I take another example. Suppose you need 25 lakhs after 5 years. For down payment to buy your own house that means you want to create a corpus of 25 lakhs rupees after five years now calculate the single investment required the similarly as we calculated for marriage provision select compound interest solve for present value enter future value that is 25 lakhs annual interest rate six percent time period five years compounded yearly click on the calculate and you will arrive at the amount required that is 18,68,145. This is how you can arrive at your future value. Now let us see another calculations that is how to arrive at the future value of annuity that is future value of the recurring investment. So far we have seen the calculation based on single investment now we see regular investments how it applies now financial calculations you have to select here future value of annuity that is recurring investment payment amount that amount you invest at periodical intervals that is monthly or yearly quarterly half yearly whatever it is frequency you have to select the number of payments the number of payments of that frequency Suppose you are selecting 5 years and selecting you are selecting monthly mode then you have to select number of payments as 60 and if you are investing yearly then number of payments for 5 years will be 5. The annual rate of interest always you have to calculate annual rate of interest that is expected rate of returns. The future value of the number of payments makes that actually so what will be the future value what will be the maturity after the selected period this is just like a recurring deposit every year yeah, every month the amount is deducted from your account at certain rate of interest so can using this future value option you will arrive at the maturity value of your investments this can be used to arrive to calculate the maturity value under the policy you are Now we arrive at the future value recurring investment. Suppose you invest rupees 1 lakh per annum, rate of interest is 6% and calculate the future value after 20 years. You have to select future value of annuity, you have to solve for future value. Enter payment frequency, that is yearly you are investing, compounding also yearly. The payment you are investing 1 lakh rupees per annum number of in payments that is number of installments every year you are investing for 20 years assuming the rate of interest six percent starting balance is zero because there is no starting balance so you have to select starting balance as zero only always and the payment mode should be at the beginning of the period because the payment we always make at the beginning then only interest is added then you have to calculate and arrive at the future value of annuity. Let us see how it works under the app. Now instead of compound interest, you have to select the future value of annuity. Now you have to solve for future value. Future value you have to arrive at. Payment frequency, you have to select yearly. Compounded also yearly. Payment amount, you are making 1 lakh rupees per annum. Number of payments, 20 payments you are making. Annual interest rate, 6%. Starting balance is 0. And payment mode, at the beginning of the period, you have to select and calculate the 
फ्यूचर वैल्यू दैट इज मैच्यूरिटी वैल्यू विल बी थर्टी एट लैक्स नाइनटी नाइन थाउजेंड टू सेवेंटी टू दैट इफ यू इन्वेस्ट वन लैख रुपीज एवरी ईयर फॉर ट्वेंटी ईयर्स एट सिक्स परसेंट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दैन द टोटल मैच्यूरिटी वैल्यू विल बी थर्टी एट लैक्स नाइनटी नाइन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी टू नाउ लेट अस सी द रिवर्स कैलकुलेशन दैट इज यू कैन कैलकुलेट द अमाउंट every month to meet the future liability for that you have to calculate the amount required using the compound interest option and that's it and calculate the amount required to be invested using the future value of annuity option consider one example say for marriage provision marriage provision current expenses are 5 lakhs rupees and in future you have to calculate the future value considering the rate of inflation so at the end of 15 years or 20 years or 25 years you can arrive at the amount required once you arrive at the amount required then you can calculate that in order to achieve them or that much amount how much amount you should invest right now instead of single premium single premium we have seen earlier here we see periodical payments yearly how much we should invest so that we will be able to achieve our desired target so payment amount will be recurring payment suppose take one example suppose you need 25 lakhs rupees after 25 years for marriage or education purpose now you have to calculate the annual payment required if rate of interest we get from investment is 5% now select the future value of annuity we have to solve for payment amount payment frequency yearly compound interest yearly future value we already know the future value we have to calculate the amount to be invested every year future value is 25 lakhs period is 25 years assumed rate of interest is 5% starting balance is always zero and payment is always select at the beginning of the period so amount every year you have to invest about 50000 rupees every year if you invest 50000 rupees every year for next 25 years then at 5% interest it will become 25 lakhs rupees let us see this also in the app to have the better clarity now here you have to select future value of annuity and you have to solve for now payment that is how much you have to invest every year to get 25 lakhs rupees so payment frequency you are investing yearly compound interest yearly future value 25 lakhs number of payments 25 payments you are making annual assumed rate 5% it is starting balance zero calculate at the beginning of the period so it is here 49886 that is this much amount you have to invest every year to get 25 lakhs rupees after 25 years assuming rate of interest of 5% now let us see how to calculate arrive at the amount required monthly we have seen here the amount required per annum now we see the same example how much you need to invest every month same example you need 25 lakhs after 25 years same rate of interest the future value of annuity payment amount now instead of frequency instead of yearly you select monthly compounding will be always yearly so it only change the payment frequency to monthly the future value is 25 lakhs number of payments now for 25 years 12 months that is number of payments will become 300 and rate of interest 5% starting balance against zero payment mode at the beginning of the period so you have to invest answer will be 4250 that is to have to invest 4250 every month in order to create a corpus of 25 lakhs rupees after 25 years now this you can calculate as a practice on the app and whether you see whether you are arriving at this figure of 4250 or not now for retirement fund income required after 30 years so is 30000 per month that is 3 lakh 60000 rupees per month you need Thirty sorry, three lakh sixty thousand per annum. You need three three thirty thousand per month, so three lakh sixty thousand rupees per annum. 
Now, corpus required to be invested in annuity if the expected rate is 4%. So, how much capital you need so that you can put it in annuity plan which gives 4% return. The 4% returns should be 3,60,000 rupees. So, corpus required to be invested in annuity will be annuity amount required per annum divided by rate of interest into 100. So, 360,000 divided by 4 into, 4 into 100, it becomes 90 lakhs rupees. So, you need 90 lakhs rupees corpus. If rate of interest after 25 years is 4%, then you need a capital of 90 lakhs rupees to get the monthly income of 30,000 rupees from the annuity. Now, get to calculate the amount required to create the 90 lakhs rupees after 30 years, assuming the rate of interest 5%. Now, here you know the future value, that is 90 lakhs rupees you require, period also you know 30 years. Now, you have to calculate how much monthly you should invest to create a corpus of 90 lakhs after 30 years. Again, you have to select the future value of annuity, solve for payment amount, monthly frequency, payment frequency monthly, compounded yearly, future value 90 lakhs, number of payments 30 years you are investing per month, so 30 into 12, so 360 payments you will make, annual interest rate is 5%, starting balance 0, payment mode at the beginning of the period, so you have to invest approximately 11,000 rupees per month to create a corpus of 90 lakhs rupees after 30 years. This way you can arrive at your requirement, how much money you need for your retirement after 30 years or whatever period it is. Calculate the amount you need to invest, you do it for your all your needs that is for children education, for marriage provision, for retirement fund and how much you want to create as an emergency fund. Calculate all four and use this in calculations for goal setting. First you complete your obligations, how much money you need to fulfill your obligations and of course if you have any, any desires, you want to create corpus for the housing loan, whatever it is, arrive at your money needs and then set your goals. And this system, this you have to use for your customers as well. When you are going for canvassing to the prospects, you have to make them realize about their money needs. So using this TVM calculations, you have to make them realize because the basic objective, the basic role of the advisor is to create need and make the prospect agree that the need exists. So first when you apply these principles on yourself, then you will get a grip of that, you will have better idea about how to pitch the same to the prospects. So practice it taking different examples, not only once do it practice it continuously till you become perfect in it and arrive at your money needs. See you in the next lecture where we will ask about, we will discuss about the goal setting, how to set your goals using the excel sheet. So by the end of the lect uh, next lecture, you will have complete clarity about your money needs and how much is you require to achieve your dreams and goals. So see you in the next lecture and assignments for this lecture can assume that if possible you can write your, if you don't if you want to disclose, you write it in your comment box, if you don't want to disclose, keep it to yourself. But write in the comment box that understood TVM calculations completely. Thank you very much for your help. See you in the next lecture.